Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm kind of at a loss today because, um, I don't have the right glasses on, because I got everything done, all the pages pulled out of this um, for the altar book. If you didn't see the first part of this, you just have to go back one video and it'll be in there. Or I also have a playlist that will say altar book. I think I've got one in, in there already. But um, yeah, I just feel like I'm supposed to have pages and I don't have any, you know, I mean, I don't have to install pages. So I guess basically what we do is start by um, gluing the pages where we ripped them out. So like, I'm not gonna worry about these up here in the front. I'll figure out what I wanna do with those later. But so this is where I ripped out um, the first, you know, two pages. And then um, also I wanna show you that this is what it looks like uh, after I ripped it out. Now, you could still rip out little um, pieces that are in there with tweezers. I tried and it, it, I don't think it looks all that bad. So, I mean, it, it looks pretty even. This side maybe is a little bit, um, maybe I'll check it when I get to it. Okay, so I guess the first thing we need to do is um, figure out what, I'm gonna get a hole punch out um, where we're going to put um, pockets and how to fold it and that kind of thing so and then the other thing is the glue I'm I was going to use uh, art glitter but um, some of the videos I watched they said that that might not be good because your pages will move so the only other glue I have is this um, cheapo it's probably dollar store but says it bonds to many materials. Um, but you don't want it to warp either. Um, so if it's like too wet, it could make your pages all ripply. So I don't know. Um, I'll just try this first one with this glue and see how it holds up because I think art glitter glue is just gonna dry instant. Although that might be good in a way because I think I need a bigger art glitter. Um, oops, sorry. Well, this one's lost its little tip. Let's see how fast it comes out without it, the tip. Let me just, it comes out pretty fast. But if I'm careful, okay. So let's just start by doing the top of this page, this first page right here. So the first thing I wanna do, I guess, is punch a hole here so that we know it's a pocket. I don't wanna punch both sides because um, I can go back and punch it if I need to. Or actually, we don't need to punch these yet. Let's put the pages, the papers on them first before we punch them. So I just need to glue. I'm sorry. It's not like I have, I've done these, but it's been a while. So I don't want to glue up here. I want to glue here. And here. I think I need to glue here too. Oops. Okay. Put this page back and make sure that these line up. This is probably the hardest part is to get these glue down. It's been a while since I made one, so 
Okay, so we now have a pocket up here. All right, so that's the first one, first page. So this over here, I think this, I can see this glue, but I think it'll dry. But it, see, it's a little warpy. I don't really like it to be warpy. Oh no, I don't know if I want to use that. Let me just try the skinny glue. All right, so now we've got another page. So this page will be decorated. This page here is one that needs to be folded down or um, we can make this a whole spread here. Um, and then this side will fold in. Maybe make that much. And I didn't fold it straight. I wonder if I should take the paper clips out. They're in the way. That is not straight. It's straight here. Hold on. Is it? Maybe it just looks like it's not. All right, so I don't really want to glue this down yet because I want to put paper over this and here. So, okay. So let's see, on this page, Okay, let me paper clip that back. And on this page here, we can fold it like this and then have two there or Page, but that's okay. Um, I like that. So maybe we'll do this one a little less. Like that. And we'll do this one right there. Get that straight. I hope this isn't boring, you guys. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing well also. Okay, so we have to cover this one. So I thought I'd just do another one, and we'd have three, three sections there to put stuff in. Okay, so there's three sections. And we could probably refold those, but I wanna cover those pages with something. Okay, maybe we'll just work a few pages and then we'll um, put some papers on because that'll be more fun. All right, we haven't done the half page yet, like the corner type page. So let's see. I think maybe I'll make this a whole pocket. Yeah, let's just make this one a uh, side pocket here. So we're just gonna go. This paper, it, I mean, this book pages are kind of like a soft, um, softer than like copy paper, I guess. This was like a daily devotional um, type book somebody had. Make sure that's. Okay. So let me. Um, I'll put a little X here so I know that it's um, going to be a pocket here. 
Okay. So that skinny glue is working. I mean the skinny nozzle, I think. All right. Um, it's almost like we should put paper on the inside of the edges before because then it won't show. anybody else do that so okay so let's I think I have 20 pages in this all right so that one is not good because the glue is just yucky but we're going to cover it and this one has the top pocket I believe so I'll just put the x there because we'll probably cover that all right let me find some papers oh I was going to show you guys this I found them I've been looking all morning for stuff to put in this um, journal and I found this old um, it was in 19 uh, let's see 26 uh, the seals court who on fixed on the 8th day of February 1926 and this is immigration, uh, this is a certificate of citizenship for this man who uh, lived in Poland and um, Austria and Poland. I just thought that was so cool. I mean, and it comes in this little, and it's like on a fabric. It was like glued to muslin and it looks like a, a dollar bill around the edge of here. And it's from the Department of Labor and then this is also um, uh, from a notary in 1939 that he was a citizen. Um, I guess be he was born on September 27th, 1897. So I thought that was kind of cool. I know. I don't, I don't know what to do with these things. I like to give them back to somebody. Okay, so let's see. What can we put on this first page? I've got all kinds of papers. Did I? I didn't even set my timer. I did not. So. This was um, in a... Oh, it's not big enough to fit on there. But I'll fit it somewhere else. Okay, let's see what we've got. This is... Kerr. Printed on both sides of these. This one was a mistake, but I knew I was going to glue it down, so I ran out of ink. I'm ready for that kind of print. Um, I think that one looks better. Okay. Have to rip off the edge. I meant to rip these all off before I started, but I'll do it for the next video. I'll make sure that they're ripped or cut or whatever we have to do. Okay, so that goes in here like that. Not, I guess not that close, but here. This doesn't give me a straight edge. This still doesn't give me a straight edge. That's where my mat comes in.
sorry, we just have to we just have to measure these things, right? If it takes extra time, it's how it works. Okay. So now I'll go ink around this. And I guess I need to ink around the book page too because I don't like it, that color. And I think I'll just, I've got, I've got a skinnier one. Got a brand new ink out. Oh, that's kind of dark. It's a brand new ink. That's why. I just want to darken up the inside of that. So let's see what else is happening. Not much. to run out. I had a book set that I had to make and so I've got to deliver it. All right, so there's that page. That's that's pretty. And then we can decorate these too. And and I noticed um maybe I don't know if it was Gail. Let's see that one looks Or somebody used a glue stick, I think. To put the pages down. And some of the people, I don't think I need it everywhere. Some people, um, just collaged on their their pages are all collaged so I don't know that may be some that way and some this way could have been up a little bit higher I don't know if I can get it off now I can. All right, I'm gonna have to make them a little bit smaller in the future because that one's hanging over. So trim it. I don't know what time I started, you guys. So there's that. I have this piece left over. And then we have this side. Now this is like an open spread. This one's not glued. So um, let's see. This one we did at the top. This one would be two. Yeah, two there. Then this one gets folded over that way. So this one. Goes like that. So we need to put something on this page. And all these will be full of like tags and journal cards and stuff. We need to put paper on this one. Let me just 
probably need to get something like this, which is um, okay. So oh, I want to do this. I don't need to go in all the way. Just where that fold is. to set this on here and then we'll just trim it away. So we'll just um, maybe just wrap that. This is going to be close. So do I just want to come to my edge? First of all, I got to see if this is even straight. Okay, that's yeah, it is. Okay, it just looks crooked. piece will fold over this side. I'm not sure what's going to show. So let's glue that down. I think by the time we get finished with this, um, or by the time I get to the middle, I've changed my look, I think, or something. Gosh. Got to make sure I my glue is very good. <laughs> That's all I can say. Okay, so let's do this one. We just need to put it right there. That way we don't waste a lot of paper. So let's find another kind of um, neutral page. Uh, maybe a little bit of spark. It's a little bit of color, but it's not a very um, it's not like bold, you know, it's small print. Hopefully everybody starts uh, commenting and um, if you want to win that journal, the um, Edith Holden journal, at 350 subscribers, we'll see. 
who the winner is. Boy, that ink is so new. I'm just not really used to this. Maybe I need to not dip it again for a while. It's such a habit to reach over there and, you know, get more ink. That's because I let it go, so it's barely got any ink. This one's a little sticky. So whoever had this little journal uh, devotional uh, book before, um, well, I guess basically it was more like reading, but she wrote all kinds of birthdays. on the edges, people's birthdays that she knew. And one of them says, uh, Papa would have been 130 years old. That's kind of cool. All right, so now we're gonna do this one. Let's see. I feel like I'm wasting paper. Maybe I should look for, let's see, what I have in other kits. Oh, I love these, because they won't sh show. Well, this, okay, this last one will, but these images are all pretty big. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm looking at. But this is uh, Vintage by Me, which, let's see. enough for that whole part. I might be able to get this whole section here. No, I won't. All right. I don't want to waste it then. Um, I had them paper clipped together because I, I know I won't remember who. Yeah, that's going to cut off. What about just one mushroom? Can I get one? Yeah, I think I can. Okay, let me. This is Vintage by Me. Um, she had a great sale. I don't know if she has the same sale all the time because I actually went back and. Oh, and this one I printed on um, collage on that kid's scrapbook paper because I thought I would use it for collaging, um, you know, uh, ripping out sections of it. Let's get some kind of accurate part there. And... Um, probably should get my mat out. This isn't even printed on there straight because it got crooked when it went through the feeder. Paper is so easy to rip. Look at that, how cute is that? I'm gonna keep that. Okay, mushroom here. So this is like the time consuming part, but you know, I mean, we love this. Right? We love the 
process of making a journal. It's not supposed to be fast. It's just supposed to be fun. There's a little piece left. Save that. All right. And I was trying to see if I could come up with some other folding ideas, not just the basics, but I haven't seen any anything else really. But I can't watch videos all day. And I can't be on Etsy all day. I just went to Etsy to list my journal, The Pink Lady. And oh my gosh, you know. And then I want to link everybody in my link tree. So everybody that... Um, of the papers that I'm using because I can't remember exactly whose is what because I have so many of them that I'm using in this particular journal at least four or five I think okay yeah that's cute that little mushroom right there So I just made sure that they're all in Linktree and um, you can find them. They're Etsy shops. May not be the exact page, but it's funny because I, when I, I went and typed in fall digitals and when I saw the digital that came up, for instance, on this one, I just bought it and I, went on to the next fall digital and some of these people have some beautiful pap papers so that's what i was noticing this morning because i had to go back and find the links and i'm like okay no we can't do that can't start searching for more digitals all right so we've got that and out here on this one, I think something real plain would be good there. I had some of its writing, or just like lined paper. And I thought I just saw it somewhere. I think this is happiness and crafting. Um, I don't like that gold with it though. <sighs> what I need is like red. I need red. this way. Well, either way, it looks good with it. So this is the part that's up. This one I printed on coffee dyed paper. I can't get it started. Parchment paper, copy dyed parchment. All right, when I finish this one, then I'll have to, I think it's time to, to stop. how fast the time goes when I'm when I'm having fun oh, I don't want to drip it again okay, I'm 
worry about the inside of this one because it's going to be covered. long. So I really wanted um, an old book because I wanted the edges to have, you know, the older look on them. stick works pretty good so far and the um, our glitter glue to glue to uh, glue the uh, pages together and uh, I don't think that I when I made my last one I did glue all the whole page and I found that I really didn't need to do that and it also helped um, to keep it from warping. All right, so now I guess I have to glue each one of these down. So we're gonna go from here. I like this process because we don't have to, I don't know if I should glue in there a little bit. We don't have to match them up to the edge. Okay. So there's, whoa, wait a minute. Oop, that didn't work so well. All right, what's going on? Why is it doing that? Okay, I have to keep it up like this. I'll go back and glue it. Okay. okay these two need to have paper put on them or something. I think that's okay. I'm gonna leave these Unglued, I think, for a little bit. Yeah, I think I'll just leave them unglued. Maybe I'll set something. Maybe there's just too many pages together. I don't know. Guess we need to stand it up, make sure that it's hmm. oh, okay, so I mean I just didn't understand what I'm doing wrong here.
it may have something to do with just doing too many pages at once. I think maybe that's why. So we'll know better next time not to use four pages or three pages. Not like that. Seriously, I don't understand why it's story of my life I mean maybe it just doesn't turn very well that way maybe we're just gonna have to leave it two and two Let me glue, glue that. cover this make this one pocket here and another pocket here because that will keep it from having that weird. Just have to cover this is all. Cover here and cover here. All right, I'm just gonna glue this one down to that. And then when I come back in the next video, um, this should be all dry. And then we'll just cover this somehow. So that'll be kind of an interesting thing. We could put a tab right here so that you know that this turns open, right? Okay, well, there's always a way to fix everything, so never to worry. Whoops your pen back in correctly. <laughs> it's like the last thing you want to watch, right? All right, thank you for uh, coming by today and um, working on this journal with me. I don't know for sure what I'm going to do with the cover yet, but um, yeah, see this lifted. So I'm learning some things. I think I can't go into the edges too much. I can't glue too many pages together at once. So, I mean, I know on my last book, I had, there was some issues too of things, you know, but I think everybody has them. If they don't, they're not telling the truth. Do you think? I don't know. Maybe if you make enough and you, you know, really get used to doing it, then, and there's other people to watch, you know, go check out other videos. Um, Gail has one. Uh, I can't remember the other lady's name. Taddy Treasures has one. Tanya. I don't know. There's other ones. Okay. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye.